Okay, let's try downloading some software for Squeak. One of the easiest ways to do that is to go to a website called squeaksource.com. And sure enough, we'll get the home page. We can click on projects. And we get quite a few projects. I'm looking for one called web client. So let's type in web client into the search. And sure enough, at the very bottom, we get this page. It tells us that the easiest way to install web client and web server, which is the software we're going after, is to enter this code into a workspace and do it. So you can see it's reading and it's downloading and it's installing. Proceed. That happened because I had already done that once before and deleted it. So, here we go. Proceed. You usually don't get that set of messages. Now, if we open up the browser, we see that we indeed have downloaded two new packages called Web Client Core and Web Client Tests. Now, we can also download Web Client Help. Same procedure. this project, select it all, and now it's downloading to help. Warning, proceed. Once again, I had already loaded it, so I'm reloading it. And now we have our web client help, which is now included in the help window. So the help browser you can locate under the help menu, and when you open it, you see several selections. Squeak, which is basically uh, explaining more about Squeak. Terse Guide, which gives you a syntax of all sorts of things, some of which we've covered, like many different examples of transcript. We can also look at our web client. Introduction, web client is a simple web client, basically, using web client. So, an easy thing we can do with web client, first, let's erase all this stuff that told us what was going on is we can perform this particular action. Let's do it in the in the workspace window. This basically will perform an HTTP GET on this web page. So we evaluate it, do it, and you don't see anything because it's created an object that we haven't done anything with. So let's go down a little bit. Let's see about responses. Let's create a response, a response object. Response object colon equals. Oh, let's just copy the whole thing. You could actually do it right here if we select it at all, but better to do it here so we can analyze it. Okay, response equals this. We're going to go ahead and do it again. Response, if it's successful, don't do anything. If it's false, return an error. Oh, we don't need to do that. We knew it was successful already. Okay, now let's see what happens if we do a transcript show response we get basically the HTTP header file now let's try a 
transcript show response content. This time we should get the entire HTML of that web page. And in fact, we do seem to be getting an awful lot of HTML. Title squeak, small talk, sweep web. Yes, I do believe that this is in fact the HTML for our squeak.org web page. So now you could actually process this data with some kind of uh, regular expression and print it out, manipulate it, do whatever you want with it. But you get the idea. With just a few clicks we've created something that will actually download a page and now we can create a whole web crawler or screen scraper completely in Smalltalk just with a few lines of code. Recall that right here that went out and retrieved the contents of the web page and then we showed the contents, the HTML contents, simply by saying transcript show. And instead we could have parsed through it with some text analysis program that we wrote. Pretty cool stuff.